God damn you, wicker wheelchair. <laughs> That's slow pan, though. God damn you, wicker wheelchair. I'm not James. I'm not actually afraid of the wicker wheelchair. Do I go left or right? Let's go left again. I'm just some really interesting what's going on with the mom. I just hold a map. Map. That's doll? Creepy. Is that one of your dolls? <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Whisper to the ceramic doll, he'll never be free. No. Batman villain. Oh, Batman villain. Batman villain. Batman villain. Batman villain. Batman villain. No, it's a, it's a tree, and X marks the spot. Still a Batman villain. What time is it? Painting, 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 crying, sleeping, hiding, crying, painting. Aww. There's one of my Same. <laughs> Except with less panning and more crying. <laughs> less sleeping, even. Oh, way more sleeping. First time I did this, I broke it. What? First time I did this, I, I remember it. that. <laughs> it didn't work for some reason. Train? No, like whatever he like he didn't step far enough to trigger something, and it he had to like back up and trigger it again. Huh. No, I had to reset. Yeah. Well, why is it a train? Okay. Oh. Oh. That was cool. That was really fucking cool looking. Yep. Yeah. Gearboards? It was really fucking cool looking. Draw on the walls. That's pretty what I really really love about this game is that like it's like super my aesthetic. Trapped in the fire. Oh, well, that's what it is. Okay. Oh, the doggy scared peaches. Oh, the doggy dog scared ran, me too. Ran, ran <laughs> across the room. I also don't believe it. I got a picture. This music is so good. It just adds to no. everything.
would like stop hanging out with possessed dolls, though. <laughs> There's nothing more terrifying than a child laughing. I'll never be free. <laughs> You'll never be free. Mom. So, so do you do the drawing of your mom and your dad does and just get really pissed off? More than normal? I don't think that that's your drawing of your mom. Oh, it's the kitty! More cats and games! <laughs> we like the kitty. We very, very like the kitty. I love the kitty! Uh oh! Ten out of ten, game of the year. <laughs> you can't jump though. <laughs> that ruins it. That ruins it for Sam. Can't jump in a video game. Fucking zero out of ten. So we're just going down and seeing it like in more and more states of disrepair. <laughs> Did you just get fucking left in the house when it burned down? Did I miss that in the first game? No. She didn't. Seems to be uh, in a burning house. Are you able to catch that before it lands in the fire? Mm -hmm. It's just what really that this is now this me nerd talk. Yeah. Um, it's like the things that I love about Red Bear, like um, Layers of Fear and Outlast, is the level design. Yeah. Those cues, so like the falling pieces of rubble, a typical player will look up. So you're meant to see that floating piece of paper, like. Because they want you to see that. Yeah. So when that shit falls, you look up, you see the falling piece of paper. In Outlast, like, in the demo, I immediately loved it. Like, the fields and shit, absolutely, you have nowhere to go. But there are certain pathways set there that you could, if you follow those paths, you'll find the thingy. And then, as you were running through that thing, like, you saw guys out of the corner of your eye that, okay, you know you can't head that direction, so I'm going to make this way. There's another dude popping up here, or, like, a door opening, so I'm going to head this way instead, and now I'm going to slide down this hill. Yeah. So, like, as things trigger on you, you kind of fall flow with that. Yeah. Layers of Fear is very like that. It's more trippy with the level design. Yeah. And it's something that I've really enjoyed about this game, mm. uh, and the DLC, too. It's, like, overall, it's just so well done, as far as the flow and guiding you which way to go, and what to do. See, and actually this, like, that brings up, like, an interesting point in where in, like, an Outlast, Outlast is really good at sort of leading you where you need to go, but yeah. I guess the way that I've always played games and the way that, like, my ex really played games was, like, really pointedly fucking explore everything, and it sort yeah. of ignores that, and so, but, so that's something that, like, I need to start to try and take the time to appreciate more of, like, the way that a lot of games do actually have, like, a way of, like, follow the flow of the story if I want to come back later and actually, like, and explore deep stuff. explore yeah. things, but maybe actually try to follow the intent once in a while. Yeah. I think it depends this, on the game. Yeah. This game, you can definitely spend the time exploring a lot, so, yeah. like, you mentioned, can you catch it? No, because there's a fire there. If you try to catch it, you might burn yourself. So what I did is I, you know, followed the flow of the level. There's, I can't go, you know, there, so I ran around, and I pushed this bookshelf on top of the fire. Yeah. So it made the paper fall again and land on this, so now I have all three pieces. Yeah. So. I'm just curious, because I, I have seen this part before, and I know, of, like, the drawing, and I, know, and I know what that piece looks like. I was just curious, like, if you caught it, like, what would that piece look like if you um, caught it before you got the book case? Interesting. Mm. Oh, like, like, if you wouldn't have the marble effect? Yeah, but yeah, I was just it's wondering if that was possible. It's just a thing. It's like, the mother has a deformity? I thought it was a burn of the fire, because that's what it looked like. Is it? There are hands on there. Yeah. Yeah. Hands on hands. Throw hands. I just gonna show you that. Yeah. Because that shadow effect was just something that I discovered recently in like one of my last playthroughs and that picture. Somebody like uh, uh, that really did that scare you? <laughs> that scare you? I don't know. 
That's kind of irrelevant. It's just weird or trippy. Um, but again, the question: left uh, or right? I Ethan, left or right? I I kind of want to continue on the mom, but like I'm really interested in the fact that the dad side is really closing off now. Well, if left is right and right is wrong, let's go. Let's go, dad. I'm really interested in the fact that it's really closing off now while the other one is opening. I really kind of want to see what will happen. Yeah. I'm sorry if I just like fucked everything up for you. Nope. I've done this too. I've done it too. I've done it where I did two lefts and a right, two rights and a left, I'm all lefts, all right. Does the same thing happen on the mom side where it really closes off too? Yeah. That's so cool. I also have no idea what's going on so far, because I have seen, like, Jack doing, or I mean Jeff doing plus plays of it, but obviously he just, you know, screams and looks at stuff, and he moves, but you don't know what he's doing, and there's no, like, Well, I mean, this is the DLC even, so it's not even the first game. Well, like, they did the, they did the DLC. They ran through all this, but it was Jeff just... Screaming and looking backwards half the time. There's no real analysis of the environment. Happy birthday. That was like a fake game. It's real. It's a real game. <laughs> oh dear. Why do you know that? Yeah. 